Let's go back to 1790 when the total population was 3,929,214. The House of Representatives was to have 105 members. Part A, what is the standard divisor for the House of Representatives in 1790? So the standard divisor standard divisor is a ratio, and the ratio is going to be of the population to the objects. So in this case, the object is going to be the members in the House of Representatives. So the population at the time was 3,929,214. So we're going to divide that by the total number of members, which was 105. So we have people to members. So dividing that, we're going to get about 37,421. So about 37,421 people would be represented per member. So each member represents about 37,421 people. Okay, still in 1790, let's say the population of Virginia was 747,610 people. So we're trying to figure out how many representatives Virginia should have. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out what is the percentage of population Virginia has. So we're going to take the 747,610 and divide that by the entire population. So 3,929,214. So this is going to give us the portion that Virginia's population is to the entire population. So dividing these two out, we get about 0 0.19, let's say 0, 0,3. Okay, so about 19% of the total population belonged to Virginia. So to figure out the quota, in other words, how many members Virginia should have, we're going to take 0 0.1903 and multiply that by the total number of members. So about 19% of 105. So 0 0.903 times 105. I'm getting about 19.98. So of the 105 members, Virginia should get, at a minimum, 19. Maybe they'll get 20. We don't know. But at a minimum, Virginia, so this is our quota, so Virginia gets at least, at a very minimum, at least 19 members.